So here are three examples on multiplying and dividing rational expressions. So when we multiply rational expressions, that's the same way that we multiply fractions. We multiply across the top, across the bottom, and that's the end. However, just like with numbers in all of our positions, if we can reduce before we multiply, it makes the end result a lot tidier. And it's easier to do before you multiply than after. So since we have rational expressions, we have polynomials, the only way we can reduce is by canceling common factors, which means we need to look for anything that will factor. The denominator of the second fraction is quadratic. It's a trinomial. So that means that is probably a good guess for something that will factor. So let's take a look. 2x squared minus 5x minus 12. In order for this to give me something worthwhile, it would help if there was a factor of 2x plus 3 after I've done my factoring so that I could cancel that. I don't know if it will work or not, but I'm going to guess that that's one. So I'm going to copy that first fraction. I'm going to copy the 20b cubed. That's not going to change much. And then I'm going to guess that 2x plus 3 is one of the factors of that denominator so that I will have those common ones to cancel. If 2x plus 3 is one of the factors, its partner would have to be an x to get the 2x squared, a minus 4 to get the negative 12. Now I'm going to check and make sure that those two together give me that negative 5. So I'm going to get a negative 8x plus 3x that is in fact negative 5x, so that's good. Now I have everything factored. I'm going to go through and cancel. So the 2x plus 3's are gone. It leaves behind a 1. It leaves behind a 1 here, but it has something else to multiply, so I'm not going to write it. And then I'm going to look across this way, the 5b and the 20b cubed. So 5 goes into 20, leaves behind a 4. b goes into b cubed, leaves behind a b squared. So now we're going to write everybody that got left behind. So I have a 1 times a 4 times a b squared, 4b squared. In the bottom, everybody there on that first side got um, taken away, so I have a 1 left, 1 times x minus 4. Now be careful, we have to stop here. Even though there's a 4 in the top and the bottom, the 4 in the bottom is a term. It is not a factor, so we are done. Okay, next example. This is a division problem. So when you divide two fractions, remember we re rewrite the second one, flip and multiply. This looks like I have a lot of factoring to do, so I'm going to go ahead and write factoring over here so that I have enough room to finish. So x squared minus 2x plus 1, trinomial, leading coefficients 1, factors of 1 that add to give 2. I'm going to write it above, so x minus 1 times x minus 1. If you need to review factoring, please do so. The denominator of that same fraction, so x's and x's, factors of 2 that subtract to give 1, so that would be plus 2 and a minus 1. Don't forget we're going to flip in a second. 8x plus 24, factor out the 8, leaves behind an x plus 3. And then looking at the denominator here, I need factors of 6 that add to give 5, so x plus 3 times x plus 2. Now when I rewrite this, I'm going to go ahead and write with the factors, and I'm going to flip the second side and change my operation to multiplication, so that I get x minus 1 times x minus 1 divided by 8 times x plus 3. I have an x minus 1 in the top and an x minus 1 in the bottom. Cancel those. I can't take care of both of them. One of them has to stay. And then the x plus 2 can cancel that. x plus 2 across. As long as one's on the bottom and one's on the top, you can cancel them. And then let's see what's left. I have an x minus 1 in the top and an 8 in the bottom. And that's it. Last example. Go ahead and scoot up here. So I have an x plus 7 times 3x over x squared plus 9x 
plus 14. That first one, just like with numbers, if it makes you uncomfortable to have one that doesn't have a denominator and one that does, you can always put a one under things. That's always legal. So let's see. Of course, we're going to factor x squared plus 9x plus 14. We have a little clue if we want to do some reducing. So x plus 7 times x plus 2. Look for those common factors. x plus 7 is the one that's common. It leaves behind a 1. So that you're going to be left with 1 times 3x is 3x. And 1 times x plus 2 is x plus 2. Again, you're done because the x down here, right, this x right there, is a term, not a factor, and we never cancel common terms. Great.